Hey guys, this is Hells, and then I'm showing you a Fortress Craft video review. Um, this game's pretty cool. I started at the top of the spawn, and right now I'm heading into the block builder, where you can build your own custom blocks. As you can see, those little seeds stand for custom, and these are some blocks I've made. Yeah, there's some really cool effects, like you can make fire, and you can do that type of stuff. And this is the area that you get to create your block. Um, I forgot how tall it is, but it's a pretty tall, and this game is pretty fun. Like, you can select your block that you've already made also to customize it and stuff like that. And, yeah. And then you can kind of trap yourself in there too, which is pretty weird. I kind of thought that was interesting. Um, also, if you have a keyboard, you can plug it in. You can, like, do shift and do commands, but that's pretty much it. Now I'm heading back to the top of the spawn as I started. This is pretty much the spawn. This is where everything's at. That's my world down there. This tool is the driller tool. You set it down and it drills every block in its path. I'm not sure how to stop it, but it, it just keeps going and going. Pretty good for digging tunnels. This one's the builder tool. You select the block that you want and it'll start building. And that's pretty much, yeah... This is the ray gun. You just use the left and right trigger to shoot it. It blows everything up. Um, I'm heading down here just to kind of show you. Boom, boom. I don't know why I didn't shoot, but whatever. Eh, can't get in there. But that was kind of my tunnel. But as you can see, it blows up everything in its path. This is a cup that you get for having people view your world and liking it. And it says, world's best builder. So I'm not really sure what this is for, but it says place corners, so I guess it's for doing corners and stuff like that. Um, this is third person mode. As you can see, you just press Y and you can see your avatar. I'm not sure what this does, but I guess it destroys stuff or something like that. I mean, I was playing around with it, shooting that, but and then I started pressing the other trigger right about now and it started destroying my world. I'm just like, okay... It's kind of weird. Not sure how to use it. Not sure what its purpose for is either. This is a teleportation device where you can select the spawner in the workshop. And I press X to be recalled. And I get sent to the top of the spawn. And if I didn't have my flying on, I would have been there. And as you can see, there's also a band hammer which you could tell, which is when you invite your friends and stuff and somebody else is unwanted is there, you can just ban them. This is pretty cool. I mean, I was trying to look for the block, but I couldn't find it. Um, this is like, if you delete the block and then replace it in both of the areas, it's a teleportation device, and you just sit in it because it's going to be a little gl glowing green thing, and then you press B and it takes you to the other side of the map because that's where I have the other spawn. I mean, teleportation device that. Mm, yeah, I'm heading over there now to show you where it would have taken you. And they would have taken you to this one that's rotating also. And I think somebody griefed my world. I'm not really sure because I don't remember building any of this. And so I think people can access your world when you're not online if you have it set to public. You can change the settings if you want your friends in there or not. And that's my railroad, uh ultimateness this is my castle i made i didn't really get to finish it because i stopped playing this game because like the new call of duty came out and i wanted to play that it's kind of where my trains go yeah i have a floating railroad pretty cool like that that's an observation tower that you saw back there the thing really high up that's people in a pool now i'm going to show you the relics there's speed boots jump boots jetpack night vision water walk headlight optic camo thermal imaging freeze tag Begin the hunt and sleep fight. The last three are games that you can play, and the other these are relics that you can collect in the game. Kind of have to search for them, but if you have a keyboard, you can kind of like um, wall hack and find them really easy. Or if you set your world to nothing, because um, you can set it to nothing and then they'll just be floating midair. I'm not really sure what the thermal in imager is good for, I guess for night, but I haven't really used it. Now, I'm just going to run around and show you how the jump boots are. 
this is my acid room. I kind of made it, but I forgot how to activate the blocks, and it looks really trippy in there when they're activated. I went to go look right now, but I show you that there's other stuff you can activate, like black smoke and status markers. I'm not really sure what any of this does, but that's pretty much why I was looking for it. I mean, the controls wasn't there. wasn't that either. I'm not sure what that did, so I was just turning them on. But they kind of look kind of cool. That one's kind of trippy. Old school is kind of cool, too. Hmm. This game, what I like about it is it's kind of creative, like Minecraft, and has some things that Minecraft doesn't. But it doesn't have everything Minecraft has. As you can see, I just jumped on an up arrow, which is a custom block I made. And that's pretty much the end of the torch. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the end of what this game is.